Hey YouTube, this is Drizzle. I uh, wanted to do another follow-up quick video here uh, about the flickering issue again with the Samsung CF791. I think I may have resolved it this time, or at least really, really close. Uh, before, like I did a video yesterday that solved the problem with the, uh, the screen blacking out and then coming back up, which not everybody was uh, experiencing, but I was, and it was making it impossible to enjoy gaming because it would cut the screen out on a pretty regular basis in certain games and setting the color depth to 6-bit instead of 8-bit uh, seemed to resolve that but there is still flickering in certain games like Witcher 3 and so I did some more googling around and tried to find anything that anybody else had done as a solution and someone said that setting a custom resolution for them had resolved the problem largely if not entirely for them and so I decided to see about setting a, a different custom refresh rate. Uh, the resolution is the same, it's still 3440 by 1440, but I've set the refresh rate to 75 hertz. And you can't do that on this monitor uh, just out of the box. At least Windows wouldn't let me select it. It was, uh, I could do 100, 60, like 50, and like 30 or 24 hertz or something like that, but you couldn't do 75. I tried some other ones like 90 and 80 to see if I could keep you know as much of my refresh rate as possible and those it kept telling me were not supported but 75 it did work with but to get it to work you got to do uh, the AMD pixel clock patcher so for those of you not aware or who have not done um, any kind of custom resolutions before either with Nvidia or AMD you need this pixel clock patcher so uh, AMD pixel right and bring up this little site here. I'm gonna put a link to this in the uh, the low bar, so if anybody wants to get this, they can. But there's a little file here called ATIKMDAG-Patcher.1.4.1, or 1.4.4 is it. And download that, which I already did, in the downloads. And you open it up and you get this little executable file. You run that executable file, and last, it'll say like it found all these things it wants to patch. And you tell it yes, you want to patch those things, and it's boop, it's done. It takes like two seconds to run. And once you run that file, then you can go and make custom resolutions that normally uh, would exceed the range the monitor is normally designed to run at. Uh, it'll actually let you, on certain monitors, uh, like you can overclock them. Is actually the point. Like actually, I've downclocked this, but you can set monitors sometimes to run at higher refresh rates than they're designed to run at. Like there are a lot of Korean monitors uh, one of the companies called Qnix you can get like a quad HD panel from them that normally runs at 60 Hertz or 75 Hertz and you might even be able to overclock that up to like 80 90 even 100 Hertz so you can buy like a $200 QHD IPS panel and overclock it to 100 Hertz and suddenly you have a very nice monitor for a fairly small price so anyways like I said you, uh, you run that patcher and then you come in here and click on display and then you come here to custom resolutions and you click create and you can see in here mine's already set to 75 but basically you would go in here this is normally set to manual on on the timing standard if you change that i just picked cvt i don't know what these different ones mean uh i could google it try to figure it out but instead of manual because it kept telling me nothing worked when i had it set to manual so i set this to i just picked one of these assuming that they were more of an automated timing process and sure enough that fixed it so select, select cvt or you can try that one if you want but this seems to work and then type in manually here what you want refresh rate to be uh, on different monitors other people you know like if you have a 144 hertz monitor you might try like 100 or 120 i think that's what the one guy said on the pan on the uh, forum was that he set his down from 144 hertz to 120 hertz and that solved his flickering problem so depending on your monitor you know you might want to try a different uh overall refresh rate but for this monitor that's at 100 normally set it down to 75 and suddenly you know, it seems like it resolved it. So you set this, you set that, uh, you, you type whatever you want here, hit enter, it'll automatically change this number, and then you hit save, and suddenly uh, it'll just kind of come out of here, and it'll add whatever custom resolution you created down here, and you can delete it if you want, or you can go in and edit it and try to change it to something else. Then you can either go into the, the control center and do it, or you can do it from display settings, advanced display settings, display properties, or excuse me, display adapter properties, and click on monitor and as you can see now I have a 75 hertz option so there's 100, 75, 60 and 50 on this monitor now instead of just the 100, 60 and 50. So you select that, you hit apply, it applies to 75 hertz and then 
uh, what I did was I went back and I checked now. My free sync now says uh, 48 hertz to 75 hertz. So I've capped off my top number from 100 down to 75, but I still have the wide range allowed by the Extreme Engine. So I can have anywhere from 45, or excuse me, 48 all the way up to 75 frames per second and still be in the band uh, to keep free sync working. And that, I mean, that's a pretty reasonable frame rate to, to be able to achieve uh, on a resolution like this. If you have a decent computer, if you're running like, um, like I run these uh, Fury, R9 Furies, if you have um, even one like RX 49, or 480, excuse me, that should be enough in a lot of games to keep that frame, that frame rate. You might have to lower some settings a bit, but in the game itself, like, you know, drop your anti-aliasing or uh, drop like some textures or shadows or something to keep that frame rate. Uh, if you got two RX 480s, you should have no problem. So keep that frame rate from 48 to 75 and you're, you know, you should be in like Flint. It should be working for you. So, uh, like I said, I've got that set. And then I went back into my gaming and global settings and I changed my frame rate target control down from 99 to 74. So to ensure it never exceeds the 75 frame hertz cap, or frame rate cap, I should say, uh, set by my new refresh rate, it will always stay in my targeted range of 48 to 75. So now that I've done that, uh, I will try to load up Witcher 3 for you. I had this kind of weird issue sometimes, like I was playing it here like 10 minutes ago before I started, decided to make the video to, to see if this would work, obviously. And uh, like sometimes I have trouble getting Witcher to load after I've loaded it once. Like it doesn't want to load for me twice in a row. So I will see what happens. Hopefully it will load up here and I can show you that it works. If not, I'll pause the video for a second and I will reboot my computer to get it to work. That sometimes is what I have to do. As you can see, it may not want to load here. We'll give it a minute. It likes to load as a process in the background. Like it'll just sit there and use like 700 megs of RAM, but the game won't load. See, it, it ain't working. That is irritating. Okay, what I'll do here is I'll pause uh, the recording real quick and I'll reboot the PC and then I'll load it up. So one second, please. All right, I have uh, rebooted here and I'm gonna go ahead and try to load this up. It should work now. Yeah, it should load the wraps as well so we, can, so we can see that the frame rate is in the right range. All right. Oh gosh, I hope the game loads. All right, there we go. Oh, you're kidding me. What the hell, it's doing the black screen thing again. Maybe. I kind of half did it there for a second. Let's see if it does that crap anymore. I don't know that it completely kills the flickering, but it definitely seemed to me like it was much reduced. All right. Before, like the, the flickering was quite evident, like around the sky and the lighting and so forth. I think once in a while I still have seen just a very tiny bit of it, but not like it was. I'm trying to find it. Now you see, like my frame rate, I don't know if you can see from the camera, is not really in a great position, unfortunately. I gotta find a better way to set up my camera in here. I just haven't, uh, I've been trying to fiddle around with setting up a stand or something, but it just hasn't really come together for me yet. I'll hopefully one day be able to get the camera pretty close to the screen. Uh, but like I say before, like around the clouds and the light especially seem like they caused a fairly large amount of flickering and I'm not seeing any of that now. Uh, like a little bit right there as I ran through that bush it kind of appeared to do it but that might not have been the same thing again. But it just seems like it's a lot better. Um, granted, granted, I can't set my refresh rate up to 100 while I'm doing this, but with a, I did sell one of my R9 Furies. The three-way crossfire really wasn't working very well in most games anyway. Like I would get uh, flickering caused by that for a totally different reason, and it was much worse than any flickering that the monitor had been doing. Uh, but like I said, I was getting like 100 frames per second or more with that in this game. But this game is not a super AMD-friendly title. And with two of these Furies, it's still running, uh, you know, 
We're on 70 frames per second most of the time. That's pretty good. Uh, I mean, there's like little iterations of it. So maybe you wouldn't want to call it perfect necessarily, but it's it's pretty good. I guess I'll leave it up to you guys if you think this is uh, worth going through this as, as really, a, like I don't want to call it a fix because it clearly still has a very slight flicker to it once in a while. And of course you, you can't run the game at your, uh, you know, your, you can't run 100% of your monitor's refresh rate, which in my opinion kind of sucks. It's sort of like nerfing your monitor. But, like I say, I can't really push the game to 100 frames a second right now anyway with these two cards. So, it doesn't matter, you know. I guess it just depends on your situation. If you've only got one card or, you know, you can't get these refresh rates anyway, it may not matter to you. Or if you're running a different monitor um, and you could get like 120 hertz instead of 144 on like a 1080p panel, that might be, you know, who cares, right? Like at, at that point, it's pretty hard to tell the difference between 120 and 144 hertz to the naked eye. And if you're really pushing that frame rate, you're probably going to have a pretty good gaming experience. But, like I say, I will leave it up to people if they think this is a worthwhile fix to apply, or if you really even want to call it a fix, or if you just want to call it a kind of a patch, <laughs> you know, kind of a kind of a band-aid until somebody decides to try to fix this with FreeSync. But from what I've been reading on forums, it's been like this since FreeSync came out, and they don't seem to care to fix it. And uh, I did try contacting Samsung directly about this particular monitor. And they claimed it was a business product and not a gaming monitor, and that I would have to call their helpline instead, like I use their chat system. And then I would have to call uh, their 1-800 number, which is only open Monday through Friday, so I can't call them today. Uh, but I will try to get a hold of them, I guess, in the future, and see if they have a suggested fix. But considering they put right in their documentation that the Extreme Engine may cause flickering, that's like their disclaimer. It's like, oh, we're going to throw up our hands and say, sorry, it doesn't work, but we told you it might not. So I, I wouldn't expect uh, perfection there or for them to really cooperate. But I appreciate everybody watching. This is Druzel. If anybody has any questions that they'd like to ask in the comment section, please feel free to post those. Uh, if you have any suggestions on how else I might go about trying to fix this or, you know, just anything you want to talk about, go ahead and post it in the comment section or shoot me a message in the discussion section and I will answer that as soon as possible. Appreciate you watching. Thanks and have a great day. Bye.